Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and welcome to the sixth episode of PUBG Mobile News. PUBG Mobile News is a weekly news show that I usually put out on Sunday. It's coming out on Monday today, uh, sorry about that. And basically what we're doing is we're summarizing the events of the previous week in PUBG Mobile. So this episode is gonna be a little bit shorter than the last one because the last one last week was when the 0.4.0 global update hit and the iOS update was delayed and all that craziness happened. So this week is a little, uh, little smoother for the game, which is great. And we're gonna get right into what we can expect next and then go into some channel updates. So we'll be talking about the new Chinese update uh, we'll be talking about the silent crouch run, which has become pretty popular the last few days now. A ton of other YouTubers are making videos about it now, which is crazy. Uh, we'll be talking about channel updates. And then if you have any video ideas, future video ideas, I do read your comments and I definitely appreciate them. And I've gotten a good number of really, really awesome ideas that I'm working on now from you. So if you want to see something on this channel, uh, chances are other people who are also subscribed also want to see it. So definitely leave those ideas below. So first up, we'll talk about the Chinese update to 0.6.1, which was released uh, last week. And it's crazy because it's already out of beta and it was released on both iOS and Android. I do have it on Android and I will be playing it. Um, so I'll show you some of those new features there. And basically, once again, a ton of improvements over 0.5.0 or 0.5.1. Uh, which is the patch that China was on. So remember, globally, we're on 0 0.4.0. That's what came out about two weeks or so now ago. And that's the one that introduced arcade mode and introduced a ton of other optimizations and neat stuff, um, the new crates that you can buy and, you know, so ton of new stuff. However, China was already on one update beyond that when 0 0.4.0 hit. And now China's two updates ahead because now they're on 0 0.6.1. And the biggest new features of this update are a new 100 player mode played on a smaller section of the same map with a higher item spawn rate. So think of this almost as an intermediary between arcade mode and classic. So classic, obviously 100 players, um, and it's a pretty slow paced experience, especially for a mobile game. Uh, usually if you win, it takes 25 to 35 minutes or so. And you know, even if you get far in the game, it usually takes 20 to 30 minutes. So quite a while. Um, this is gonna play a lot faster because there's a higher item spawn rate, not as high as uh, item heaven arcade mode. However, there's also 100 people. So this is really cool. And I'm definitely looking forward to this when this comes to global. Um, because I think that it's more of a mobile themed experience. They added glass to windows. So now just like the desktop version, if you're vaulting through windows, you're going to be breaking glass. If you're shooting through them, you're going to be breaking glass, uh, which just makes it a lot more obvious that you're doing that because right now there's no disadvantage to just vaulting instead of opening doors because it's quieter. Uh, but once they add glass, you're going to be able to see where people went through and it's, you know, it's going to change that dynamic. Uh, there's also a new pistol slot, so now you'll have two primary weapons and a secondary weapon, or not secondary, a third weapon. So you'll have two primaries, uh, which are usually, you know, assault rifles or um, your sniper rifles or shotguns, Uzis, you know, those sorts of things. And then you'll also have a pistol slot, which conditionally could be useful. I mean, I think in certain situations, if you have a suppressed pistol, maybe, I, mean, I, I, I can't see it being super useful, but, you know, the desktop version has it, so why not? And uh, definitely look for a video with a change log very soon. So I'll talk about 0.6.1 and all the new things that are being released in that version or are in that version. Uh, next, we'll look ahead to the global update to 0.5.1 or whatever they decide to call it. Uh, this is the same slide as last week because nothing's really changed. So this is the update. So this is what we're expecting globally. So like I said, China's two updates ahead right now. Um, but in two to three weeks, we're going to the global um, community, so North America, South America, uh, Europe. They're going to update to 0.5.1, which will bring the new desert map finally, as well as the new vehicles and guns in that desert map. And like I said, we're still projecting middle of May. Some people said May 10th. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that early. I'm thinking it's going to be more like the 15th. As soon as I have a better date for you, I'll definitely update you. And I'll probably uh, make a video about those patch notes too because uh, they were released a while ago and I just got swamped with a bunch of other videos. So, whoops. Uh, next, we'll talk about the silent crouch running. 
uh, which was a video I put up a couple days ago, which gained a lot of traction very quickly yesterday, uh, which is crazy. And basically I was showing you, I did not find this out. I found this out uh, through Reddit and I'll put the username if I can find the comment because it's so buried now. But um, the original commenter on Reddit actually posted on the video. So it's super cool to see people engaging like that. And thank you so much for that post. Um, basically you can run or sprint while you're crouched with seven different weapons and you don't make a sound. So normally you make footsteps when you run around and with one of these seven weapons, it's all the four pistols, the Uzi, the Aug, and the Groza. So those are the ones right now. And uh, this already does not work on the Chinese version of the game, 0.6.1, that was just released. So I don't know if it was a bug or a glitch. I'm not really sure. Uh, it could have been by design, but then they realized that it's just too good. And um, they're like, we have to you know, fix that. So like I said, I, I almost think it was intentional because the weapons that you can use this with are weapons that are smaller and can be used more stealthily. Um, but I think they didn't realize how good it was and that's what happened. So I, I don't know. I feel like a compromise would be quieter footsteps when using one of these weapons than a normal weapon, which is longer and more difficult to carry. But, uh, there should still probably be some noise just because it is quite, quite good right now and kind of game breaking. <laughs> um, so now we'll jump into the channel update segment and I have a ton of cool stuff for you this week that's coming soon and one of the first things is going to be a dedicated discord server for this channel so i think we've reached a point uh we're actually just over 3,000 subscribers right now which is crazy because we were only at about a thousand a week and a half ago um so i think we've reached a point where i'm getting so many game requests if i log into leet shield um which is great but um it's just too hard to coordinate so I know that a good number of you want to play with other members of this channel too, which is cool. We could set up some squads, do some duos, and uh, that could be facilitated very easily through a dedicated Discord. So I'll be setting that up in the next couple days, hopefully today or tomorrow, and I'll post a video as soon as it's up with the update link, um, or the invite link rather, to get into that Discord. And like I said, I think this is just a really easy way to get to know other subscribers from the channel it's an easier way to directly message me um, just because we're starting to get to the point, like I'm, I'm trying my hardest, but we're starting to get to the point where some of the YouTube comments are just slipping through the cracks because you know I, I check them a couple times a day and then sometimes it, you know I just miss things now. Um, and you, I also need Discord for voice chat, so I can't record, I can't screen record if I'm using my mic. It's a limitation of Android right now, so or iOS, so you can't, um, record the gameplay with the game audio while you're also using the in-game chat. So in order to get around that, I'm using Discord for voice chat and then I'm recording the in-game audio. So if you want to play a game with me and um, you're okay, you, you're, you consent to it being recorded uh, so that it could potentially end up on the channel, then uh, we'd have to use Discord for voice chat anyways. So, and like I said, I'll make a video as soon as it's ready. And uh, one other thing, or two other things, so we're still waiting on the L1R1 triggers. Um, there was a company that was supposed to send them out to me so that I could give them away to you, which is awesome. I'm still waiting on the box, so I'm gonna have to get back to them and figure out what happened there, because otherwise I'll just have to buy L1R1 triggers to give away to you, um, because I know that a good number of you are excited about that, and I wanna give back to the community. And uh, speaking of, here's something that is a little touchy to talk about, um, but I want to be honest with you guys because right now I'm making all these videos and I'm having a lot of fun doing it and I'm having a lot of fun engaging with you, but I also have made zero dollars to this point. So um, we're going to have to change that just so the channel is sustainable. Um, and the way people do that is through monetization. So AdSense is something that YouTube basically promotes for any channel over a thousand subs and 4,000 hours, which are way over both of those now. Um, and I like AdSense because if you don't want to see the ads, you can use AdBlock or you can get around them a good number of ways. And if you want to watch the ads to support the channel, you can do that too. So I think we'll enable that by default just because, like I said, it's so easy to get around if, you, if you're if you annoyed by them or you don't want to see them. Um, a Patreon, I don't really think we're there yet, honestly. I, I don't really want to, you know, like I'm never going to charge for the content that I'm putting up. and. I don't really know if we're big enough yet that that makes sense. Um, one of the things that I'm starting to consider are sponsors. 
um, which I know turns a lot of people off. So that's again why I'm being frank with you and asking you what's the easiest way, what's the best way to do this? Would you rather I do a sponsored video where we're just talking about something that I'm passionate about? It could be an L1R1 trigger, it could be a, um, a mobile game controller that you know helps you grip your phone better. And it's all stuff that I'm actually using to play the game and that I think is decently high quality and something that you would you know enjoy getting use out of. So I'm not going to just like sponsor some random bar of soap or something uh, just for money. <laughs> um, hopefully I never get to that desperate or get to that spot. Um, no offense to soap marketers, soap advertisers out there, I guess. Um, <laughs> but I don't think that relates to uh, PUBG Mobile very much. Uh, or would you rather see sponsored spots? So sponsored spots would be like uh, we're you know getting into a, a, a video about how to parachute better and I say, this video is brought to you by Derek G. And I go into you know a little 30 second spiel on what um, that sponsor is and what they're about. And then we jump into the video. Um, so definitely let me know, like I said, this is a touchy topic. Not a lot of people wanna talk about it, um, but I think that it's better to just be transparent and ask you what what's the least intrusive way to do this while also making this sustainable. Um, so that I can produce a ton of videos and continue to grow the channel and you know we can have a lot of fun with that. And video ideas, I mentioned this at the top, I'll mention it one more time now, and that is if you have any future video ideas that you want to see on this channel, definitely leave them in the comments below. Um, or once we get the Discord set up, definitely just uh, DM me them because I'm always looking for new ideas. I have a ton written down already from comments that have already been left and I'll start working through those. Um, but if you if you found out something really crazy and you want to share it, or if you have an idea that you think would really benefit the community, uh, definitely let me know because I'm super open to that. So I think that'll wrap things up here. My name is Derek G. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like if you haven't already so that the channel continues to grow and we continue to get uh, more new people into this community, which is awesome. And uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already for tons more PUBG mobile content. Uh, my name is Derek G, and I'll see you on the battlefield soon.